Hi, in this screencast, we'll take a look at a new tool for writing ROS applications called Hatchery. Hatchery is built on top of the IntelliJ platform, or PyCharm. So if you have these IDEs, then you can simply download it from the plugin repository. If not, you'll need to git clone our project from the following URL. Since I have it already, and I'm already inside the main directory, I can simply type Gradle W run IDE. And optionally, I can provide a project flag that will tell it the path to our project. Here, my ROS project is located inside of my home directory. Once the tool is launched, you'll see something that looks like this. To the left of our screen, you'll see the project structure. And if it doesn't recognize this out of the box, then you'll need to set up your Python SDK, which you can do under File, Project Structure. Here I'm using Python 2.7, and you may need to edit that to specify the correct path to your Python home directory. Once you do so, you'll see support for all of the common ROS file types with their own particular icon. Here, inside of package files, we import the XML schema, which allows you to do code completion. So here, if I open a new tag, I'll see all of the tag names that can be applied inside of this context. Likewise, if I press control space inside of the tag, I'll see all of the dependencies that I can import at this particular location. So for instance, I can depend on April tags. And if I click on the icon to the left, it will navigate to the package directory in my project structure. Code completion is also available inside of ROS launch files. So here inside of this launch file, if I open a new tag, say a node, it will complete the tag attributes for me according to the launch file XML schema. Often a ROS launch file will have an includes directive. So if I open this kinematics calibration launch file, you can see it includes many other types of launch files. If I press control and click on one of these references, it will automatically take me to that other file and I can navigate back and forth. This navigation feature is also available in reverse. So if I select a file in the project structure and press Alt F7, it will find all usages in text for that file. And in the Find Usages panel, I can navigate to any of those text references. Notice here that if I make a typo or if I accidentally delete some characters, then this reference will turn to red and say, it cannot resolve this symbol. Furthermore, when we rename a file, by pressing Shift F6 to a new name, then it will rename all of the associated references for that file anywhere in the text, so we don't need to grep for them later on. These three features we've mentioned so far, code completion, navigation, and refactoring are available in ROS launch files, package files, and ROS message files, which are a common way to define the interface for ROS messages. Furthermore, we have language support for error highlighting and syntax parsing in many other common types of files, such as CMake, C and C++ files, Markdown previews, Bash support, and much, much more. Last but not least, Hatchery has support for deploying and debugging your ROS application on a laptop or live device. Here I have a joystick demo that I'd like to run on my Raspberry Pi. Now I could do this by SSHing into the remote system, rsyncing the files from my laptop, and running them using a script on the device. But here, all I need to do is select DuckyBot and click Run. And let's see if this application runs. Pretty cool, huh? I hope this feature will save you a lot of time and frustration when running ROS applications on a remote device. If you have any questions or feedback about Hatchery or would like to learn more about writing ROS applications or robotics programming in general, visit us on GitHub and check out Ducky Town, a new course for learning robotics at the University of Montreal. Thanks for watching.